Okay, so I asked ChatGPT to create a simple checklist tool using HTML, Tailwind CSS, and JavaScript. Why I'm using Tailwind CSS? Because so let's see if it can actually create a framework using a custom framework like Tailwind Bootstrap or something like that. And we will be using the ChatGPT, obviously, chat.openai.com, and also CodePen to actually paste that out to test our code. If you use any VS code or something like Atom or something like that, ID, so you can easily use that. Then here I have told create a simple checklist tool using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and it's given me a simple tool. Then I've told them to add ability to add items and mark checked, and there it has already given me this. So let's just test out the number one here. And before testing this out, let me just paste that out there. And here in the CSS section, you need to add a predecessor. Predecessor means you have to add the Tailwind functionality to this particular CSS. As you can see, this is not a Tailwind framework at which we are going, we are seeing right now. And for that part, go to the settings icon here and just scroll down this and search for Tailwind. So in the add external style sheet pens and they have a Tailwind CSS. So just save and close. So yes, it has, the styling has been changed here. As you can see, it's a simple checklist like this. You can just tick that out and it will tell you the result here. But if you want an ability to actually add items to it, like add a custom item to it. So here, let me just copy this and paste that out here. So CSS is not that much because Tailwind CSS is being added here. And in the JS part, let me add this. So yes, so okay, so this is being looking good after checking out it just give these item scratch part and there you go and if i want to add more like uh, complete assignments so yes so let's see youtube marketing or something like that i i'm just giving an example so yes it has also been completed so see how it is to how easy it is to create a simple checklist tool with the charger you can actually tell it to create anything or add any functionality to the particular code and it will start adding a code to it so if you have learned something from this video click the like button and if you want to subscribe to the channel do it because you are going to a base with the content we are going to post in this particular channel so see you in the next video until then bye bye